So far we've looked at transformations using matrices. Um, there's one type of transformation or change to an equation that we haven't looked at just yet. Um, that's finding the inverse. So let's just start with a generic uh, linear graph. So y equals 2x plus 3. And we remember from previous chapters, to find the inverse, we spot the x and y. So when x equals y, so we write this as x equals 2y plus 3 and then rearrange to get y as a subject. So x minus 3 all on 2 would be the equation of the inverse. If you want to use matrices to swap the x and y or reflect in the line y equals x, we can use the matrix 0, 1, 1, 0. You'll notice when we times that by the matrix x, y, we end up getting 0x plus y and then we get 1x plus 0y and that will equal to the image of our new graph and what happens is then the top part of this left hand matrix which 0x will be 0 we end up getting y and x down the bottom we find that the image of x is now y and the image of y is x so all we've done is we've swapped x and y so if you want to reflect a function in y equals x then we can multiply it by the matrix 0 1 1 0 and let's look at a couple of examples where this reflection is occurring alongside some other transformations <laughs> 